play. And a little cow poke, here is my hat. Here are my spurs and here are my chaps. As soon as I get up, I work all day. I get on my horse and ride away. A cowboy sees a bull, he tells his men to get it. Go get it! The cowboy puts a sign that says rodeo Thursday night, 8 p.m. The cowboy gets on the bull and the riding begins. The bull throws the cowboy off his back. Ah! The, cowboys, the cowboy's men get branders and ropes and tie him and brand him. The cowboy puts his cuff inside the cage and the bull got trapped. <laughs> Welcome famous UT graduates in sports and technology. Dell Computers helps us in our lives. First Lady Laura Bush graduated from UT with a master's in science. Roger was at UT, played baseball. He was play he played in the major leagues. <laughs> Mary Lou was the first lady to win the all-around competition. One of the things represents UT is the tower. The mascot is a longhorn. His name is Beaver. There was once a person in Austin and she saw different food trailers. There were so many food trailers, cupcake trailers, taco trailers, popcorn trailer. It didn't know which one to buy. She tried a tackle trailer but decided he did not like it so she went and tried another trailer. And then she tried popcorn and cupcakes. He still stacked them all but said I would totally stay with cupcakes. Austin to me is a building made of cupcakes. Plastic bags can pollute the environment. A guy comes to Austin and reads a sign that says no plastic bags in Austin. The guy was asking people around him about the no plastic bags in Austin sign. He went to the store to buy some stuff and saw the sign again. He didn't have the no plastic bag, but lucky for him, the store had some for free. He thought there was everywhere in Austin. Almost everyone in the store ha had cloth bag. No plastic bags can help save the earth and trees. It can also help the animals. The beginning of a new band. Guy goes to Austin. Yeah, I'm in Austin. Guy looks at a piano player and decides to play with him. As they play, this clarinet player watches them and also joins in. You can join too. As they play their music, people start to gather around. Yeah, yeah. You they had a street concert for everyone, and that's the beginning of the band. Leslie wakes, wakes up. <gasps> Leslie, Leslie goes to Eastside Pirates. He eats pizza. <laughs> Leslie, Leslie finds a tickets to Willie Nelson, Nelson concert. <laughs> Leslie watches Willie Nelson, Nelson play. Leslie w meets Willie Nelson. Nelson. Leslie and Willie watch, watch Bats fly at the Bat Bridge. Leslie says bye and goes home. Austin means to me 
art is I like to draw superheroes and animals. What Austin means to me is family and friends and mostly where I could um buy stuff for myself like my the video games for my three D S. Um, what Austin means to me is family, friends, my birth town, and nature. I like to go hiking, kayaking, and uh, on picnics with my family. And sometimes we go swimming in the lake and at pools, I guess. And I like the local businesses, like the pizza and the food. Those are good. And yeah. Awesome means to me the food and having fun with my friends. I also like going kayaking on the river and it's just you can have a lot of fun and learn stuff about about it. And also it means um, spend time with my family and having a lot of food and just go ahead and have fun. Awesome means to me my home because all, all my family grew up here except for two people. My mom and my dad, my stepdad. Austin also means to me home, uh, home because I was born and raised in Austin. One of the things I like about Austin is is pride. Austin means to me art and nature because Austin has less pollution and is eco friendly. Art because they Austin takes time and money on creativity and imagination. Texas means family because I spend lots of time with my family and where I was born. I never want to be away from my family. Austin means to me that it's my warm place and all my family is here and I feel more safer here and my friends, me and my friends play here sports, basketball and soccer. And that what, that's what Austin means to me. Austin means to me my family and going out to the park. To me, Austin means education, nature. I like uh, going jogging uh, closer to the lake. I like making friends, spending time with my family out outdoors. I like how the Austin is really clean and how people are very friendly. And it's, it just means friends and family. I'm Mary Lou Castillo. I am the board chair for Latinas Unidas por el Arte, also known as Lupe Arte. And uh, we put on the Lupe Arte Spring Break Arts Camp simultaneously with South by Southwest. And we are here to be able to give the opportunity to students who would normally not be able to take a camp. Um, through for the arts. Um, we are doing film and writing for this uh, spring break uh, session. Hi, I'm Sarah Rafael Garcia, author of Las Niñas and founder of Body Writers. Uh, I joined Lupe Arte in the spring break camp We Are Austin, creative writing through animation. Um, because I met Mary Lou Castillo and she told me about this wonderful uh, opportunity and we came up with a way to teach kids how to story tell um, and then incorporate technology with animation. And I have really enjoyed this particular group of kids because they have worked really hard um, to get to their final stories and their, and their short films. They have taken the idea from brainstorming, sunburst, creating sunbursts, to creating a, a, a six scene storyboard, to telling um, us why Austin uh, is important to them or what that means to them, and to finally adding uh, characters through five sources of medium. We introduced um, chalk paper with fasteners, as well as stick figures and pencil drawing and paint and clay. Uh, various of the, of the youth involved actually included more than one medium in their, their final piece. They were able to brainstorm and think of stories that 
uh, meant, that stood out to them from Austin. We have a story about food culture, ATX food culture. We have a story about a band starting. We also have a story of the rodeo. Uh, we have a story that includes Austin icons, Leslie and Willie Nelson. So the youth actually were able to grasp some of the Austin culture into their animation pieces. What I particularly liked about the whole week was after all the, uh, the writing and the brainstorming was over, uh, they spent time with Johnny Villarreal from the Edge Imagination Station and were able to see their thoughts and ideas on screen onto, you know, into animation pieces. And they learned the whole process of what works and what doesn't work, uh, why planning is important, as well as editing and voiceovers. Uh, and believe it or not, these kids sat for three hours twice this week and worked straight through their project, which I found very impressive. Um, they never once asked for a break for three hours because they were so engaged in, in their final short films. Um, so overall, the week has been a great project. Uh, it was nice to see the, the youth grow as a community and engage into their art pieces while learning um, math and writing. Um, so that was very important overall. And I have to say, I, I myself am very proud of the kids that were part of it. I'm very proud of Lupe Arte putting this together and giving us all the opportunity. And I'm glad that the youth contributed to their own version of South by Southwest in Austin. Hi, my name is Johnny Villarreal. I'm a multimedia artist living here in Austin, Texas. I'm the owner and creator of the Edge of Imagination Station, uh, which the students have been using this week to tell their stories about what Austin is to them. Um, it was a pleasure working with these guys and seeing how far they took their projects, how much they thought about it, how much work they put into it, and, uh, and as you just saw, the great results that came from that hard work. Hi, my name is Gwen Bethel. I am 19 years old. I am a volunteer here at the Lupe Arte. Helping them with my experience with filming. I've taken pictures. I have uh, interviewed everybody. And and I represent Cinema Du Cannes Festival where a group of students write uh, scripts. And then we produce the films and there's no adult uh, uh, putting their hands in it, so it's all uh, student run. We market it, we uh, edit it, and we get donations for the film to send to uh, France Cans. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed with the youth, the kids that I've worked with. They pick up everything like that. Most uh, people don't. Uh, I thought it was interesting how all the kids got their ideas of different part of Austin and put their ideas in an animation. I have yet to learn animation and I have not been around Austin, even though I have been here my whole life. So it's kind of interesting to see the little types of cultures that they have pulled together. And it's really amazing how they all work together. Because I know some people can't work together, but the kids, they work together, they teamed up, and they have fun.